so after it is uh, this is actually more like part three of the first good part about homeless I do want to talk about this uh, about the thing between blacks whites and the rest of the world and whatever um, the racial divide not only do I not see it but I, I'll say this in the years that I've been doing this the people that have given me the hardest times about it have all been white there's been many times where black men and women and children have shown genuine compassionate sympathy or empathy and come up and done whatever they could and I've wondered about this because even when white people give money a lot of times it's not sincere it's very insincere uh, or whatever we've had but we've had a lot of charitable generosity from black people many of whom have taken us in as part of family um, I think that's because there has been a disparity between the races and they've known the shit end of the shoe and they see a kindred spirit there. I mean, when, I, when I've been in prison in many younger days, you know, a lot of the guys that, well, is this going? Yeah. A lot of the guys that probably have given me money. And in younger days, we would have all been in jail or prison and rioting and trying to kill each other. But that's because you're stuck with these antiquated ways of allegiances to um, obsolete uh, opponents. And you're stuck having to represent what you are, what you hang with in there. People need to know your solidarity. And so that's just the way it is. But when it, I don't have fear to this day. The people that I fear the most, I don't think there's one of them that's black. <clears throat> um, not, not saying anything, you know, that... But white people are some treacherous, dangerous fucking people just I've seen more evil with a white skin than any in a black skin or yellow skin or red skin or brown skin um yeah because it's one thing to be a fucking dictator in a banana republic somewhere because you were repressed and poor all your life and then you rose to power it's another thing and, and it went to your head you know megalomania most of the powerful people in America came from powerful families and so they never knew a time without why would they feel the need to fucking fanatically hunt and oppress anybody poorer than them since most of the world is poorer than them. I mean, do they get their fucking jollies on picking on things? That's like a goddamn... Here's an FBI stat. 100% of all serial killers tortured animals. Well, what's the difference, right? I mean, fuck. And for that matter, who's the biggest serial killer of all? Wouldn't that be like Bill Gates, Dr. Fauci? I mean, they're making Hitler, Pol Pot, and Stalin look like fucking pussies. The scope of their work is going to be in the billions.
So we might have to rethink the supervillain fucking dealio. Because I'm thinking unless you got upwards of 25 million, you don't get a take top dog, you know. But they're, but they're not even close. So when it comes to feeling the love, I get it from the hood. I don't get it in fucking Brentwood. 